Uh, Representative Alan Omar uh, has expressed a little disappointment uh, when she first moved to America. Mm. She was speaking at a Sanders rally, and gosh, here's what she had to say. That I saw was homeless people sleeping on the sides of Manhattan when Manhattan. we arrived in New York. Uh-huh. And I remember turning to my father and happens. saying, this yeah. doesn't look like the America you promised. And my, fa- uh. my father said, hush, child, we're going to get to our America. Because the America that we were um, shown uh-huh. uh, in the orientation tapes when we were coming here uh, uh. from the refugee camp in Kenya had um, beautiful homes with white picket fences. Yeah, and those don't exist? Happy or families mm-hmm. eating a full meal. Um, in their beautiful living rooms. Mm -hmm. It had happy children uh, getting on the bus to go to their beautiful schools. It had pictures of amazing uh, malls, mega malls. Uh, It had pictures of beautifully um, built bridges and highways. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was a picture of abundance. Mm. Now that's the ideal. That's the America we all know we deserve. <laughs> and we don't but have that? But our reality... I, I see all that every day. Is full every of day. homeless people. Oh, good gosh. Our reality is full of families <clears throat> who have moms and dads who are going without dinner or lunch or breakfast just mm-hmm. so that they can have enough for their children. Our mm. reality is full of kids who are showing up to schools that are full of mold uh, and uh, leaking rooftops. Our reality... Is that really the reality uh, for the most part in this country? I can't take it. um, Shut her up. I just can't. (laughs) I can't. That Uh, is so unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the vast minority of situations are the typical America now, I guess. The homeless... And the few people who don't have enough to eat. You know, we've done survey after survey has the census on people who, even the poorest in this country, most of them have enough food. Mm -hmm. Even the poorest have a place to live. And a cell phone and a television and hot and cold running water and air conditioning and heat. The poorest among us, for the most part, have what 90% of the planet doesn't have. And that's what that's what she's focusing on. It's a shame that she didn't trust yeah. her instincts and just turn around and head yeah, back really to Somalia she when she got here. Would have been great. But uh, no, um, she said, mm. uh, you know, they ended up in Minnesota, her and her family. And that's where in her congressional district, um, roaming gangs are going around and beating up innocent people. I don't see her trying to make America better by standing up to them or saying anything or speaking out. No, no, uh, but what an ingrate. Uh, congratulations. Oh, ingrate. You uh, are an American now, and um, get out. You spit on this country repeatedly. Why, why do you want to represent it? She, the America she was sold had happy homes. Like, we don't have that? Happy children, malls, bridges, highways. We don't have any of that? I see that all day, every day on my commute in to work and back home again. The vast majority of Americans have all of that. Are there poor? Yes. Are there poor in every country? Yes. She has the unmitigated gall to come here from a refugee camp Mm -hmm. and then disparage America. By the way, what she's talking about there, homeless and people without enough food, in New York, who's been running it for generations? Democrats. Yeah. Yeah. San Francisco, who's been running it for generations? Democrats. Cleveland, Detroit, St. Louis, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Los Angeles. Who's been running all of those cities for the most part for decades? Democrats. (laughs) Yeah, and when it was cleaned up, it was Rudy Giuliani. Right. um, After she had gone through there. Unbelievable, Um, man. That is unreal. He'll get no credit from her, of course. Oh, of and course. that was just her starting the weekend. I mean, she had more fun once Trump released uh, the list of six more countries on the uh, on the banned list uh, for immigration. 
Oh yeah, she's um, you know he's so, so hateful that so he's just trying to ban all Muslims from ever coming doing. here. That's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so he he adds some countries to the list. Uh, yeah, six. Yep. And then she, so she says mm -hmm. this is a monument to anti-Muslim hate. <laughs> <laughs> the president does not believe in freedom of religion. He does not believe in the rule of law. Oh please, are you going to tell me you believe in the rule of law? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And he does not believe in our Constitution. She does. Gotta be kidding me. We will fight this with all we have. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. And uh, oh at my. least her stupid tweet didn't go unchallenged. Ryan Saavedra at the Daily Wire pointed this out. <laughs> uh, Good stuff. He said, Ilan Omar is spreading lies and disinformation. Three of the six new countries added to the travel list ban have more Christians than Muslims. They include Eritrea, Myanmar, and Tanzania. Between all six countries, more non-Muslims, 53.33%, are impacted than Muslims are. <laughs> From Pew Research. I love that. Thank you, Ryan.